Good morning. We're looking outside at downtown Fargo and beyond here in our Storm Team Skycam Network. It's a quiet morning and a cold morning again today. We're looking at some negative numbers on our map and I will be that way throughout the day. Yesterday, though, we really got to warm up. Some of us hit 20s above yesterday. It was so nice. I know that we had to put up with the wind and there were some bouts of snow, but at least it wasn't miserable as far as temperatures are concerned. We're looking at 17 our high yesterday in Fargo and 14 in Grand Forks and again some 20s out west. So everybody climbed above zero. Just a great day. A nice break from the sub-zero weather. A wind chill advisory is in effect today until noon. We are looking at Grand Forks and Fargo and that advisory stretching off to the east as well and other places in the country under winter weather headlines surprising places this area in red on the east coast that's a winter storm warning it stretches all the way down into Florida and along the east coast up to Boston so areas under winter storm warnings for a big storm system that's already impacting that area here today. You can see some pink and blue showing up in southern Georgia and Alabama, and this is all going to be working its way northward as the system rapidly develops and intensifies on the east coast. Also some snow up around Chicago. If you're flying into Chicago, you might have some issues with that here uh, this morning. And if you're heading down south along I-29, heading down toward Frisco today, there might be a couple of snow showers that you run into, but generally speaking, you can see on the map, it's looking pretty dry and quiet, especially up here in the valley nice and quiet and clear in a lot of spots and will remain that way here today. The problem is, is that it is cold again. We've got five below in Fargo, seven below in Grand Forks. We're at 11 below in Faustin and 10 below in Devil's Lake and in Thief River Falls for your start temperatures. And we'll probably drop a little bit more before we see those temperatures start to rise. Typically our coldest temperatures are right around sunrise, maybe a little bit after sunrise before uh, we start to see things warm up. Our wind chills also, again, we have that wind chill advisory. We're into the 20s to 30 below in the valley, so another cold morning where you want to make sure that you're fully prepared for winter weather. Visibility is good in most spots, except for Detroit Lakes. We're down to three miles there. And wind is out of the northwest. We've got wind speeds into the teens here this morning, a 12 mile per hour speed in Fargo, 10 in Grand Forks. Our hour by hour planner shows that by by six, seven, uh, eight o'clock this morning, temperatures will be down into the double digits below zero for some of us. And we'll continue just kind of being in that uh, sub zero range here today, thanks to getting that overall northwesterly flow. And that's just going to continue to stream in those colder temperatures or colder air, keeping our temperatures down below the zero degree mark in a lot of places. This is noon, still looking at some pretty good weather at noon as far as no snow at least, just nice and quiet and clear, but cold. Temperatures into that uh, zero degree range, some of us on the uh, negative side of that, others a degree or two above, especially up by the James River Valley, but generally speaking, another cold one here today. And getting into the evening hours, we'll watch those temperatures really drop because we're not seeing much improvement happening as far as wind shift or a lot of cloud cover moving in. The one exception will be out west. I'm hopeful that we can get some of those clouds a little farther east here tonight to help that stave off that temperature drop. But you can see where the difference is going to be. Where we get the cloud cover late tonight, we'll be into the single numbers below zero. Over to the east, teens even approaching 20 below in that area like Faustin and Thief River Falls. Ahead for tomorrow morning, again, a big range of temperatures, 20 below for some of us in the northeast to about five below in the southwest. And getting into the later morning hours, we'll see those temperatures start to rise, but it's not going to be a warm day. We'll see maybe a few degrees warmer than we are today for Thursday. So midweek today and carrying over into Thursday, we've got a bit of a cool down here. Uh, but we've got some improvement on the way. Here's a look at a prairie sunrise in the McKenna area. Thank you, John. And checking out your seven-day planner, we're going to see those temperatures on the way up into the teens again on Friday and continuing into Saturday and Sunday, maybe even a 20 for Fargo and some snow showers too this weekend if you're going to be in Frisco for the game on Saturday looking to be right around 50 degrees there. Pretty nice. Thank you, Lisa. No one wants to get their flight canceled, but in some cases it might be for the best. We'll explain coming up next.